Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So we're up here at our annual Memorial Day fishing trip. Where we spend about five days camping, fishing, relaxing. And the closest grocery store is about 18 miles away. But when you see the local gas station has briskets, we're going to see if we can't do a brisket over an open fire. We're going to do a whole barbecue feast with the corn, potatoes. We're going to make some beans and rice. And hang out to the end if you want to see a genius way to butter your corn. So you saw there we got the fire going. We want that to burn down. We want to get some nice hot coals. Just some package of brisket there. We're going to be using Meat Church's Holy Cow Rub on it today. No binder. We're going to keep this as simple as we can. We don't have much with us. Just some tin foil, tin foil pans. We never cooked a brisket over an open fire, so we're going to see how it turns out. Just get a good coating on both sides. See if we got a nice good coating on there. We're going to let this sit for a couple minutes while we continue to let them coals burn down. We have some beautiful weather out here. So now we're just going to crack open a beer and enjoy this gorgeous day for a little while. So we finished our beer. Now time we're going to get the, our cooking area set up. We're going to scrape all them leaves out. And this thin sheet of metal I'm going to lay down. But you can put the coals right on the hot ground. Just be careful. Now I'm hammering in this grill grate. I'll leave a description down below. We cook tons of stuff over this fire on this grate. So we're going to hammer down, get it set out of the way. We've got some good, nice hot coals now. We're just going to spread them nice and evenly over that, that piece of metal. This is going to be a long cook, so make sure you keep that fire burning all day. If I get the initial fire, like stacking the logs, like a, like a log cabin style, seems to work the best for me. There you see, coals are nice and spread out. There I'm just checking the temperature with my hand. I'm going to say it's around 250 degrees at that point. Let's get that brisket on. We're going to be flipping this in the beginning about every 20 minutes to a half hour. So grab yourself another beer. Take a load off. Get yourself a couple pieces of hickory. Throw them on there for a little hickory smoke flavor. It's been about a half hour. So we're going to flip this over. That's what she's looking like right now. Another 20 minutes went by or so. Flip it over again. We're going to do that for the first couple hours of this cook. Right now this is coming along good. It's starting to smell good. So we're going to flip it here. and We're going to check the temperature of it. See where she's at. I don't know if you can see that. We're climbing 138, 139. We're going to be giving this brisket a wrap pretty soon. In the meantime, we're just going to get some more coals out of the fire, try to keep that temperature consistent. So now I got some foil laid down. Got this dinosaur barbecue sauce I never tried. Use whatever sauce you like, or you don't even have to put a barbecue sauce in there. I will put some liquid though. Get a beef stock, water. Today we're just going to use the Yingling Lager beer. Pour about half of it in there. Enjoy the other half for yourself. You see, we're up to about 149 degrees, 150 degrees. I'd like to go a little longer. I think I'm just going to wrap it up now. Just going to bring it over. We're going to set it right down in that foil. I'm going to cut some butter up. We're going to throw some butter on top of it. 
Just got a couple tablespoons of butter. I'm going to go on with a little more of that barbecue sauce right on top. Wrap this tight. Try not to spill any of that beer out. After we get it all wrapped up, we're gonna stick the thermometer in there too and keep it in the whole cook so I can monitor the temperature. We're gonna be looking somewhere around 200, 205 degrees when we pull this off. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them coals. I'm going to try to stay somewhere around 250 to 300 degrees in that range. In the meantime, we're getting hungry for lunch. So we're going to throw some burgers and dogs on the Blackstone. We're going to sight our rifles in too, because why not? So after we had that good lunch, a couple more hours went by. You see we're right at 204 degrees. We're going to pull this puppy off. Check out that blue shoe cameo from Clayton. So now we're just gonna let this rest for a while. We're gonna start with everything else we're gonna be cooking. So we've got some potatoes wrapped in tin foil. We're just gonna set them close to the fire. Now in a pan, we got some melted butter. We're gonna come down with some hot sausage patties. We'll let them cook down a couple minutes and then chop them up. Meanwhile, keep an eye on the potatoes, keep rotating them. If we get all that sausage chopped up, this is gonna be for the beans and rice part of the meal. So use your favorite canned beans. Here we're just using a blend of Bush's Steakhouse blend and their maple brown sugar blend. Get them mixed in with that sausage, give them a good stir. Hit them with a little bit more of that holy cow from Meat Church. Get some tin foil over top, wrap it real good. We go right back over that, that hot coals there. It's about 20 minutes or so went by. We're gonna open these up, give them a good stir. You know, we gotta try a spoonful too. So we're going to put them back over for a little bit. I always got a, a bag of pre-cooked rice that the gas station was also selling. So we're going to throw that in there, give it a good mixing. we we'll cover it back up. Just keep it warm for a little while. Potatoes are coming along nice, so we're going to pull the beans and rice off. They're nice and hot. we we'll set them aside. And we're going to get going on this corn. We're going to do the corn right on the grate. And we're going to want to keep your eye on it here. You don't want the corn to burn. So we're just going to be flipping it every couple minutes or so. That brisket's been resting for a good hour or so now. Let's get it on the cutting board. Slice this puppy up. We'll save them juices. I'm gonna throw the brisket right back in all them juices. Hopefully you got a better knife than your pocket knife, but we've been in the woods for four days, so that's what we're gonna use. Nice and tender, as you can see. For doing this over an open fire and coals, I think she turned out pretty good. Check it out. Doesn't have much of a smoke ring, but you can taste that hickory flavor in there. And you see we found a better knife. We pulled one of our fillet knives out. So let's just get this sliced up. We're gonna go all back in them juices. We're gonna pull the corn. There you see, we got a nice little barbecue feast going, even a little side salad. So there's only one thing left to do now. Get a plate full of them beans, a couple slices of that brisket, throw some corn on there, 
And this is that trick I was telling you about. You throw a slice of butter down on hot dog roll or whatever bread you have. You don't have to get butter all over your hands. So you can butter that corn up nice and easy. When you're done, you have a nice piece of butter bread to eat. So there's the brisket. See how nice and tender it is? That just goes to show you don't need anything fancy to cook a barbecue. So there you have a whole barbecue feast cooked over an open fire and coals. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.